Hey there, Killjoy listeners. We have a quick message for you before today's show. In select markets, recent episodes of CBF podcasts, including Killjoy, The Woman Inside the Man Inside Me, Gliding to New Perspectives, Screaming at Children, Wet Slippers, and the Polyester Sexual Harassment Club have included advertisements for Happy Gummies, a gelatin-based health supplement product. Following a Supreme Court case and the revelation that the gummies are produced in a battery acid production plant, we are now legally required to inform all listeners that the entire Happy Gummy range should under no circumstance be consumed. Happy gummies do not constitute an effective treatment for depression. Ingesting happy gummies does have a high chance of causing permanent blindness, paranoia, and the strong impulse to maim animals. Amy, (laughs) Uh, a couple of our sponsors are interested to know how you're doing over there in Middle Earth. (laughs) Um, So, yeah, they just want to know when you'll deliver something. Uh, I'd like to keep them in the loop. You know how they get. (laughs) Fire. It destroys, but it cleanses. From the flame comes a purifying rebirth. I had come to what some would say was the most inappropriate place that I could go to test a theory. The site of the fire where Joy Ford's remains were discovered. Killjoy Chapter 10, Little Piggies. Hello, Amy. Uh, what are you doing? No, great. Thanks for coming. Help me pile up these branches. Uh, why? And I see you've still got that. Yeah, I need it for today. Noah is referring to something that I made use of several episodes ago that you might not remember. The six severed pig's heads stitched together with fishing line that we used to test whether Gary would have had time to move Joy's body after allegedly killing her. And today, these little bad boys would be of use again. They're rotting. It's fine. They have maggots in their eyes. It's fine. You know, I'm going to miss them. Uh, don't touch them, Amy. It's okay. Don't, Amy. What? They've been very helpful, and I'm saying goodbye. I'm going to see how long it takes to turn to ash. That doesn't make much sense, and it's really dangerous. The fire danger man has his arrow pointed at no way. That's the opposite of no worries, Amy. Can't you just Google it? Like, how long does it take to burn a body? I've learned that Google is not always right, and just Googling something doesn't make good radio. Okay, there's gas in that can. It was a solemn place. I felt close to Joy as I stood on the spot where her body had been incinerated. I like to think that I'm honoring her memory with this podcast. And so I respectfully began to build a bonfire. Why are you talking like that? Are you okay? I've never been better. So I need you to smoke this weed. What? Listen, Gary was stoned that night. I thought he was drunk. He was also stoned. I know that because he told me, because I'm a really good journalist. I only smoked weed once and I didn't like it. It made me feel sad. That's fine. I have these anti-depression gummies that you can have right after. They make you feel great. They're shaped like little piggies and they change your brain chemistry. Now smoke the goddamn weed. How am I going to smoke it? I have this little pipe. How did we get here? Gary Ford, you might remember, is an artist. Behind bars, he produces a great variety of strikingly similar paintings that have been sold in galleries for surprisingly high prices. I have to admit, I don't understand the attention these drawings receive, but one of them has stayed with me. It 
depicts, yes, a spaniel. But this spaniel is basking in front of a fireplace. The fire is painted in vivid oranges, yellows, reds. It's hypnotizing. And it made me think about how he had cremated his wife's body. Would it have burned that quickly? Nobody had tested it. This is burning pretty quickly. Uh, it's burning really quickly. I think we should go. No, we can. I need to find out how long Amy, it's Amy, you started a fucking bushfire. Let's go. It's... It's beautiful. Amy! We can't stay here. I have to stay here, Noah. I'm a journalist. Fucking hell! Fire can be destructive, but also bring new life. The mighty eucalyptus turned to ash. Ashes fertilize the soil, sowing new life. And like a phoenix, a green shoot pierces the ground. Would starting a bushfire impede or help my pursuit of the truth? Find out on the next Killjoy. Welcome back to News Pump. Things are really heating up in the town of Sharon's Valley. A massive bushfire is raging through much of the surrounding countryside. A forensic team is on its way to the scene to check out what people are saying could be the charred remains of a severely mutilated corpse. And get this, it's the same spot where the charred remains of Joy Ford were tragically found back in 1987. After the break, the silver ferns have lost to Australia. And is your child haunted by a vindictive ghost? More to come on News Pump. Music